In this video, I'm going to show you how to extend the background in your photos using Photoshop 2024. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me yet, I'm Silvia and in this channel I talk about photography, especially high-end retouching techniques. Let's go to the video. You might find yourself in a situation where you want to take a full body shot picture of your client but your background is not big enough to cover the whole photo. So you don't need to feel stuck in only taking close-up shots of your clients. You can still take a full body shot. However, you will only need to work um, in how to extend the background using Photoshop. And here I'm going to show you two tools that you can easily use to do that. It's very, very simple. So right now, as you can see, I took a photo, I created a fake background in my studio apartment and this is how it became after I extend this background. So for us to start right here, I already worked in the Skin Retouch and Dodge and Burn and now I'm gonna have a whole photo combined together, all the effects. And now it would be the point that I would extend my background. So to do that, I'm gonna select this tool and I'm gonna just select all the areas where I wish to extend my background. So this is pretty much it. And now I'm gonna go to edit content aware fill. So what this tool is going to do is it's gonna select in green here on my left. You can see that there is some selection in green. And in green, what this tool is doing is that it's reading everything that's selected in green. So it can pretty much copy um, this kind of area, can understand the area to complete this new selection that we just made. So I don't want the selection to use my body at all to complete this area. I just actually want to see that I'm extending the background. And here on the right, you can see how it's looking already. So pretty much it start extending this background here. So I think that this is good. If you don't think that that's good because there is some mistakes in here, you can click in this option here that's gonna process again and it's gonna show some difference between um, the, the before and after. And you can do it until you feel like it's good. Uh, it's not gonna change as much, but we are gonna fix this area here that's not very good and I'm just gonna press OK. Okay, I'm gonna deselect the area that I've selected and this is pretty much how it is right now. We can see that it's not the best, but it's something that you can work with. So now what I'm going to do, I'm gonna select the lasso tool and right at this area here, for example, I'm gonna, I wanna change the selection. And with Adobe Photoshop 2024, we have the AI that we can use um, to do like a little bit uh, is smarter technology to fix things like problems like this one. So for example, I am gonna do the selection. I'm gonna put in here, I'm not gonna type anything. I'm just gonna press enter. And I want the tool to just generate what you think it's best to generate. So this tool is reading my image and trying to figure it out what they can put in here that will make this um, photo look just like better. And here go. Uh, it's something that you can work with. They give you like this um, tool gives you three different options and you can choose which option is the best for you. I really like this one. It seems very easy and natural. Um, one thing that I did with this photo was that I increased a little bit um, the, um, the composition of the photo. So you can see that there is a black part here on my photo and what I want to do right now is just to extend this area a little bit. However, you can see 
that when I took this photo, it cut right here at the edge of my toes. So I'm gonna use the AI to generate this part of the area that's in black that's missing. So I'm gonna go to the rectangle again. I'm gonna do the selection. I'm gonna do the same thing, click here. I'm not gonna write anything and I'm just gonna press enter. And there we go. The tool does everything for you pretty much. If I go close to my toe, let's see. It doesn't look very good, this part of my toe here. It kind of like, I kind of miss my big toe. Um, let's see the other options that they have here. They're not very good. All right, so this is perfect because um, that happened to me when I was working on this photo, so I wanna show you how you can do this. I'm gonna choose the first one because I think for all the rest of the photo, this is good. And however, I will need to fix my toe. So right now I'm gonna go back to the mask. You can see that this um, tool, they cr it creates a layer here and there is a mask. So I'm gonna go back to this mask. I'm gonna go to my brush tool I'm gonna have it in black first because I wanna hide uh, my toe here, this thing that um, the AI created. So I wanna bring back my big toe and I wanna have my toe here how it was before. And what I'm gonna need to do right now is I'm gonna get all the photo, all the layers together in one layer. I'm gonna select the lasso two again, and I'm only gonna select this area here. It's missing a part here. I think this is good. So I'm gonna do generate again. And let's see how this is going to work. Okay, it is looking a little bit better, but I think that it, I don't like it yet, so I am gonna um, go back to where it was. I'm gonna delete this layer, actually. I'm gonna do a selection again. I'm gonna select a little bit less of my toe, just like this, and I'm gonna do it again. Okay, now it's looking perfect. You can see all the other options are very, very good. like this the second option better maybe the first one yeah I think I like the first one better so this is a very easy way that you can fix something that maybe you cut it just like I did here on my toe and um, the AI will generate that for you and that's a very simple way to extend the background to fix a few things um, there is another thing that's wrong here that I just noticed. So I'm gonna do the selection. I'm gonna generate AI again. I'm gonna cancel this actually and I'm gonna fix this whole part here. There we go. Wow, it's looking way better and it's so easy. This too is so easy. So let me see the whole picture. See which one works better. I kind of do like the first one and the last one, I think. Well, there you go. I'm gonna leave the last one here. And this is how you can use the AI combined with the content aware feel to fix your background. So I'm just gonna put all of this in a folder so we can see the before and after. Look at this. Click the like button if you like the results. Now you know how to extend your background in a very simple way, which will make it seem like your clients were in a really big studio and they will love the results. If you want to know other ways to improve your skill to make more money with photos, check out my latest video somewhere here in the screen and click the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. Until next time.